Hi everybody, we have five piles today and timestamps will be down below. Hello pile one, welcome to your reading. So I feel like currently you guys are going through some sort of chaos and conflict and it's a little bit annoying. This can have to do with people. I almost feel like it's a combination of things. Like when I think of chaos and conflict, it's almost like if there's one thing that's chaotic, we can kind of manage it. But when we kind of have other external things or like more than one external thing, it starts to become like, what do I even tackle? And before I even pull your tarot cards, it's like spirit is saying with the star, this is actually really positive energy that you're going to find yourself feeling really hopeful about life again. There's going to be some sort of light, um, some, some sense of renewed faith and also like more energy coming in and you really seeing yourself for who you actually are versus what you sometimes believe yourself to be, like false beliefs about yourself. You're feeling a lot better about yourself. Now, with the snake, some of you guys have dealt with people, haters or people who you felt betrayed by, people who you felt like couldn't be upfront with you. For others of you, you feel like situations in life have made you a little bit cold, at least for the time being. So you've jumped into this place of like, this bad B energy, it's kind of iconic, but then also I kind of feel like you're ready to take off that mask. You're like, I've managed to protect myself, even if it meant I had to um, keep my guard up or have an attitude. And then this light, again, the star, renewed faith in life comes through, especially, um, <coughs> excuse me, when it comes to your goals and your dreams, you're like, I want to be able to enjoy things again. Like sometimes it's not even that our dream or our wish is not does not bring enough satisfaction for us. It's just be, it's just that we've become a little bit detached to it. Um, we've had a lot of lessons we've had to go through. There's been reality checks, and what I'm seeing with Venus here is um, you're really headed towards like creating more abundance. Um, the 11th house is the house of friendships and gains. Um, so I do feel like you're going to have faith and hope in your dreams again. And there's going to be opportunities or inspirations in how to make money in an enjoyable way. In a way where you're actually liking what you're doing and the audience you're you know, connecting to or um, the people that you're working with. Venus and Capricorn, I'm getting like this bougie... <laughs> this really bougie energy coming for you. I feel that the springtime especially is going to be very hopeful. There's something very daydreamy about you, or that's the energy you're stepping in. Um, kind of gives me the energy of sitting in a car and the windows are open and it's a sunny day and you're listening to music and the wind is blowing and it just feels almost peaceful but also exciting like you're excited about what's next so let's see what blessings are coming towards pile one so we have the king of cups this is so nice we have the ten of wands in reverse there's so many burdens things you have been doing or burdens you have been carrying that are just coming off of you or you finally don't have to stress about something that's been stressing you out that burden is finally like leaving behind and there's like brightness um a brighter energy coming toward you we have the seven of pentacles the knight of wands you guys are feeling super inspired okay one thing that's coming up really strong is like you're feeling yourself you're feeling really good about yourself and who you're becoming and you're in this place of like, why did I, why was I doubting myself or why was I so sad? But mostly you're just grateful, that kind of heavy energy, some of you could be feeling a weight even now, is leaving, um, you're leaving it behind. And what I see with the Seven of Pentacles is things are going to unfold for you slowly and steadily. And there is a part of you right now that wants to rush, 
like you get super excited and you want to go super fast but you're actually going to find the beauty in taking things one step at a time and being able to breathe through it um with the king of cups i definitely see this like emotional maturity now i am feeling there's a situation in love that you're daydreaming about with the king of cups there is something that's on your mind or just love in general seems possible again um you're definitely in a place where you're ready to put yourself out there although i do see you are really you're more focused on having fun but there's definitely something going on here where you're like daydreaming about a specific situation or a specific person and you're kind of excited about it but overall it's going to be a time where you're being more independent it's time to take action new moon and aries people feel like they like they don't know what you're going to do next you're in this very busy energy you're in this very independent and confident place um like where people are really impressed by you i just feel like you're having fun you're being brave and spontaneous there's something that's super fiery coming up here and you're gonna feel really blessed um in regards to the new like these new beginnings you're getting like you're gonna start investing in things and you're gonna really do it you're not gonna delay things all the delays in the past everything gets cleared up and slowly the chaos and conflict the things that seem like where do i even begin to tackle you begin tackling them basically one by one and i see this is going to happen especially in Aries season. Um, Aries season is the astrological new year and especially in sidereal astrology. So that's, I think the end of April beginning or beginning of May, you may have to check up on that, but uh, definitely keep in mind the dates of April, May, um, basically the springtime where I personally always find that the springtime is like super freeing there's something about it where just everything feels like it's changing and I feel like you guys are really going to connect to that type of energy. So we have reconciliation. I feel like you guys are reconnecting with someone from the past, especially with this card. A marriage will take place either romantic or business, so you're either reconnecting with old friends, but I'm strongly getting there's someone in the past you're reconnecting from. It's kind of a situation. There's some situation um, that right now you are stressing about, but it's temporary. It's not going to last. Whatever burden or thing you feel like you're going to be stuck in, it's it's going to move. So just kind of um, be patient. I know right now things seem super uncertain, but it has a lot to do with the timing of things. Um, persevere and you will overcome problems. Again, you're going to have the perseverance and see um, see yourself literally clean up the mess you feel you are in and take care or there will yeah you're taking care of your material wealth you're really going to start to take care of your finances and it's not that in the past that you couldn't do it i think it was mentally and emotionally things were holding you back and that mental emotional burden and weight is again it's it's being released and so at first, it is going to be hard work, but you're going to see recognition. You are going to see rewards um, for all of the hard work you're going to put in. I do feel like this is a period of three to six months. And we have a chain of events that will affect your life. And there's definitely more socialization, especially with the 11th house. There's going to be a lot of connecting with people. Um, it's the energy of things are hectic, but they're fun. Like you're having fun with things being energized and, and busy for you. There's going to be so much you're feeling grateful for. Where you felt like scared that maybe the universe didn't have your back. Or you're not doing good enough. Or you're wondering why it's not working. And suddenly you really start to genuinely feel grateful for what you have. Um, and grateful for like certain blessings or miracles that are happening too. I was just looking for a card, but I found it. So what blessings are coming your way there's a huge change in perspective huge change in believing in yourself again i think a lot of this has to do with timing right now you're probably going through a period of releasing or you've just begun to start to feel hopeful and it's just going to basically build upon itself um it's very similar to maybe doing similar things but they look so different 
suddenly your ability to see and tackle things has completely changed. You feel like a different person. So I'm seeing Capricorn, Aquarius, 11th house, Taurus, Libra placements. We also have Aries placements. If you would like to book a more accurate personal reading with me, information will be down below. Thank you for tuning Hello, in. Hello, pile two. Welcome to your reading. So we have South Node in Pisces. We have South Node in Libra. And then we also have the Whip card coming up. So I feel like you guys are really taking back your power. <laughs> there's this very, um, there's like a strong Aries, Aryan energy, um, where you're taking back your independence. So your channel song was never more. And some of the lyrics go, never more, you won't see me crying on the kitchen floor. <laughs> oh my god, it's giving me like Trisha Paytas energy. So you're in that place where you're like, I'm over it. That chapter is ending, we're putting it aside. And some of you are like closing that cycle, some of you are in the middle of that. So some of you feel like you're in the thick of things. And there is this tension, there is a certain strife you're feeling about a situation. Um, you know, it doesn't even have to be a relationship, but it, it, it can. I feel like most likely it is, even if it's not romantic, could do with, could have to do with any relationship, any type of relationship with people, because we do have Libra coming up. Um, we have the South Node coming up in Pisces and in Libra. So yeah, there's this intense energy. For some of you, it's just not even that dramatic. You're crying less, you're feeling less dramatic you know dramatic about things sometimes we feel like oh my god I'm, how do i even deal with this and you're really um moving away from that so yes we have the magician you're really going to start to see yourself as powerful you're going to start to see your capabilities and all your talents and you're in this place where you're going to become mentally stable enough, emotionally. You're going to have all the tools you need. You have a little something here, a little something there. And you put it all together and you're like, I can move forward. I literally have what I need. I've got this. We're going to do this. You're the magician. You can just make things happen and appear. Again, this is really... Uh, this means you're t in tune with knowledge. This makes so much sense because we do have why coming up and she's like opening this book and she's looking for answers and the magician is connected to gemini so you're getting in tune with probably research of some sort but this can be like metaphorically finding answers i feel like in all different types of ways um you're like okay how can i make life easier for myself or more efficient or the place i want to be in so you're going to move forward towards those things and you're very much in a position to do that the timing will be right um your resourcefulness is going to be very very strong we have the three of cups so again right less heaviness and moving towards a really playful energy I'm hearing playfulness, finding your innocence back, finding your youth back. Some of you felt like you didn't get to experience your youth and you're letting your, your inner child play more. You don't really care what anyone else thinks about it. You're just gonna, you're gonna do what feels right for you. And definitely this spring and this summer, you're going to be socializing and having a lot of fun. Um, there's more pleasure. There's more pleasure entering your life. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is so exciting. You have the Ten of Cups. This is a very positive sign of a lot of happiness coming your way and you may be on a little bit of a roller coaster it, things may not always be perfect but your luck is changing definitely with the wheel of fortune surrounded by the three of cups and the ten of cups oh my god and the five of swords in reverse your luck is changing for the better if you feel like you've been going through a period of heaviness you're going to see so much lightness out like coming toward you so much emotional fulfillment and peace and 
excitement about life and like being alive and i feel like with the south node some of you guys feel really detached sometimes you're more into your spirituality or you're um a little bit detached from people maybe you feel misunderstood maybe it's the pandemic the south node is a very detached very spiritual but can become a very detached energy like an underdog energy or black dog why did i say black dog um <laughs> uh the the south node is i think i know it's ruled by dogs i don't know if it's ruled by black dogs in particular i think it might be it actually is um gave through the south node is ruled by black dogs so anyways um yeah and then sometimes you may feel like you're too like you could be very analytical or ju not judgmental but you are very aware you're i'm getting piled to you're very intelligent you understand things deeply and sometimes you can you can be a little bit ahead of people in terms of knowing things and then suddenly you, be, you become detached from your surroundings but you're really seeing the beauty in life and love and family and friends and there could even be there could definitely be a situation in love that is going to come towards you so but you're moving past someone, definitely moving past someone who made you upset. Uh, new moon in Scorpio, work through your fears. I felt like you waited. You, you had this, you held some sort of grudge or there was some pain and trauma you were really working through. You were going through a transformation and now you're facing your fears and it's exciting and it's exhilarating. And through taking a risk, through, um, accepting change right all change means is endings and new beginnings and we there's a huge emphasis for you pile two on new beginnings so this uh this fearlessness um going against the norm even it's really gonna lead to a lot of new emotional experiences for you um and it's it's gonna be super fulfilling more than you like could even imagine so what other blessings do we have coming for pile two you guys are really going to learn how to be patient and how to take action oh when we're impatient it's not a sign of uh we don't have enough it's just a sign of not trusting so there's so much trust you are finding in yourself um there's this belief when we're patient we're actually able to enjoy the present moment more so you're going to gain that ability to enjoy where you are in this very moment um there's going to be a lot of happiness in your family or your even your friends family wishes come true this is your close emotional connections you're going to find a lot of emotional fulfillment there something good could happen in your family someone could receive some really good news in need of help, assistance, and guidance. So you're gonna find yourself uh, more willing to help others and you're gonna find it very gratifying, but also at the same time, you're gonna see that good karma come around. You're gonna see suddenly you'll unexpectedly get help from people, people are supporting you, people are rooting for you. Where in the past, maybe you felt unseen or disconnected. Um, there's a strong symbolization here of more connection and um sometimes we feel like we don't need help until we get it or support and it can actually be super super relieving <laughs> we have helpful people so i see a strong sense of community here this is going to be healing again on a level that you couldn't imagine or you didn't think would really happen so i'm seeing scorpio placements gemini uh, strong Scorpio placements actually we have fixed sign placements we also have Pisces and Libra if you guys would like to book a more accurate personal reading with me I'll have my information down below links for candles will also be down below take care hi level three welcome to your reading oh my chair is so squeaky sorry um so we have the stork this is representing you guys are about to enter a whole new phase okay a whole new phase of life um so this is transition this is change this is life being different and what i'm seeing 
um, a lot of what it has to do with is freedom. You know, we have the stork, we have a bird flying there, and then we have Sagittarius. So this is about freedom, learning things about your spirituality. Like some of you are, I don't know, I'm almost getting like there's one, some of you are very evolved in your spiritual journey and others of you who are just tapping into spirituality, um, tapping into your connection with the divine. So especially of those of you who are beginners, you're really going to see so much growth. You're going to uh, potentially learn about spirituality and um, you're going to be excited to put certain practices into place and it's going to create immense growth. There's going to be a transformation with your ego especially um, and a stronger connection to purpose where I feel like in the past there was disconnection. Some of you dealt with betrayal, okay? Some of you guys felt like you put other people first. Like you gave everything to certain people you could have tried to help them more than you you know because you saw potential in them something like that um with sun in the 12th house i feel like in the there was this i don't know what it was but something happened where we felt a bit disconnected so this next phase for you whatever this new thing is this new phase this new beginning it's leading you to really finding yourself Okay, so pile three, what blessings are coming your way? Oh my god, pile two had this. So we have the three of cups. Again, I think it's a little bit collective here, more socializing, especially as we approach the spring and the summer, social events. Um, some of you are going to be going to parties, that type of thing, just having more fun and um, this also is showing to me the strengthening of your friendships you could be making new friends too possibly because you're going to be starting um, a new class a new job um, a new project we have the queen of swords let's do one more and we have the five of pentacles so I feel like you've been in this very protective energy and again, in a lot of ways, it did what it had to do. It protected you, but you're going to start to connect to something more vulnerable, situations that are going to make you more vulnerable again, right? There's a lot of emphasis here on ego. So what seems like change and transition and past pain, it's leading to like a type of evolution and learning that you won't even realize how powerful it is till it happens i remember there were situations where i was like literally why am i going through this i can't do this and i really didn't <laughs> i did not see the light at the end of the tunnel i just felt like I, I couldn't really understand why and then people would tell you there's a reason and you're like that's easy for you to say and you think your specific situation is just different um it it's impacted you and it, you're like i have to go through this healing and it's hard but this is really going to kind of transform your idea of what your ego is and who you are like are you your ego or are you something way more transcended than that and you're kind of connecting to yourself on more of a soul level and a lot of releasing and a lot of healing um if you were super you know, some of you were super giving, especially with Sun in the 12th. There was like no boundary. And so you're really gonna learn how to set boundaries. Um, you're finding your power, right? She has this like, the energy of the knife. <laughs> it's, it's threatening, but it's like in this very graceful way. People kind of sense this grace and gracefulness on this, um, charm about you people are like this person is fun but they're also really smart and um knowledgeable and um just people feel like they can come to you for things and you get the job done i'm also getting this energy of doing what needs to be done and you're able to do that and with the eight of wands on the bottom of the deck wow in the story there is definitely going to be a message okay there's some sort of verbal message or written message that is going to lead you into a new phase a transitional phase 
Um, this can even be seeing something that you're inspired by and it's meant to lead you to your new phase. Um, I'm, I'm getting for this pile, the blessing has to do with spiritual growth, um, especially. So we have, mm -hmm. so you guys are just in the middle of a transformation, a heavy one, right? So we, it's, it's always like this. It, it's never, <laughs> we never go upwards, like, um, just in one way. So whenever we kind of accomplish a certain phase, we then again are learning something from that. So right now you're learning and a lot of it's going to have to do with the bigger picture. Like what is going to serve you in the long term? You're being faced with that. You're getting all these downloads in regards to that. And I do feel like you're beginning to get organized about it. And it's a little bit, you're kind of, you want to know, but sometimes you have to take a risk. You have to take a leap of faith with Sagittarius. You have to really look at but also be smart at the same time if that makes sense right so if i want this in the long term sagittarius is all about knowledge so you're gonna get the information your sagittarius is able to be disciplined a lot of the time sagittarians are in shape they're a fire sign they're known to be athletic because there's this balance of the mind body and soul so you might be like that thing i want you know sagittarius is ruled by the arrow it's over there but through the spiritual knowledge um physical knowledge um everything a culmination of all of that putting that in place only then you can shoot the arrow only then you can pick up the arrow so that takes like a certain level of balance meaning not over pushing yourself but also learning when when to move and when not to move and having that very much like the temperance card, that balance. Um, so this is not about stressing ourselves out or overworking ourselves, but at the same time, if we have not pushed ourselves, being able to push ourselves, uh, I hope that makes sense. And you're coming to terms with that. It's happening because the universe like wants more for you. They want that balance for you. They want you to experience that expansion. Um, so what blessings are coming towards pile three? Your intuition is going to be extremely strong. There's going to be something, a sign that keeps coming, something you're supposed to be doing or moving towards and you can't ignore it. And your gut is just going to tell you to do something. And I feel like you're gonna, you will reach a point eventually. It's going to be up to you where it happens or you're at the point. Some of you are in the middle of this. And the more you keep listening to your inner uh, inner self, silencing the noise, sil silencing the external factors, um, the more you're just going to transition into this this lighter energy. We have money or property through an inheritance, winning or windfall. You guys, there's movement, there's transition. Again, we're getting a new job. We're starting a new project. We are, again, there could be unexpected and an unexpected inheritance, especially with the 12th house for some of you. Um, a lot of you, you're going to be like, you're. it's not that you've given up, but you just kind of accepted the situation. Um, you're a little bit worried and then there's going to be uh, this unexpected blessing. Um, and it's going to be kind of that push and supported you need it to heal from the thing that's been hurting. And again, I feel like a lot of it has to do, it's, it's something quite spiritual, um, something that has touched you on a very spiritual level. I see the five of pentacles here as um, healing from poverty or a poverty mindset. So you're going to face certain truths about yourself. You're going to reach a point where you're like, I, again, I, I'm not going to keep myself in this position. You're going to learn certain truths about people or you're going to finally start to see people for who they are. Sometimes we tell ourselves, we, we see the truth of a situation, but we're holding on and that blocks our blessings. So from really seeing the truth, fully accepting it, not wearing rose-colored lenses, um, it, we find so much power and so much freeness, so much freedom. 
um, and the point that happens for you is a point where things really begin to turn. So I am seeing uh, 12th house Pisces placements, Sagittarius, really strong Sagittarius. We have Leo placements, we have Aries, and we also have air sign placements. If you would like to book a more accurate personal reading with me, I'll have my information down below. Thank you for tuning in. Hello, Pile 4, welcome to your reading. So we have Uranus in Cancer, we also have Jupiter in Cancer, and I feel like this is going to be the luckiest pile yet because Jupiter is exalted in Cancer. Um, we also have the birds coming up, so if you're feeling bored, like, <laughs> you're not going to be bored for- oh, is this going to focus? You will not be bored for long. The birds represents chatter. It can represent gossip as well. So you could be, I feel like you have a lot of eyes on you, okay? There's a lot of people watching you or there's a lot of people who are gonna be socializing with you. Some of you guys have a significant presence, presence, what did I just say presence? <laughs> significant presence on social media. Have the magician, so you're really going to start to feel like the master of your own destiny. This does speak about powerful manifestation, um, having all the tools you need to build. Um, there shouldn't feel like too much lack to move forward. We also have the page of swords, which makes so much sense because we were just talking about communication. So there's a lot of messages being sent in your way, a lot of social invitations. Invitations. Um, oh, people watching you, people really interested by you, intrigued by you. You could be meeting, connecting, talking to new people. And we have the Four of Pentacles. So I'm seeing stability. Um, it's interesting we have four because we have Cancer's energy, the fourth sign. This has to do with, wow, <laughs> with the Four of Swords. So this has to do with stability. I see you're going to be building a stable foundation. Again, there's no rush here. You're not f rushing yourself. You're moving at the pace you want. When you're ready to move fast, you do. When you're looking for answers, doing your research, you do. Um, you're in a stage of learning and growing and creating a strong, stable foundation for yourself. I feel like you're learning when it's appropriate to spend money and when it's appropriate not to. So like when you have abundance, either investing it correctly or you know, I don't really believe in being stingy, especially when you don't need to be. So um, with you're learning to do that, but then also learning when, you know, I think there can be this misconception people say with manifestation, if you spend money freely, you get it back. But it's like you have to spend from a certain vibration. So learning to spend from security, learning to give from security. So when we're acting and able to give from a secure place, it is returned to us in the same type of way, right? Um, yeah, this feels nice. This feels really, really solid. I see you're finding more safety and um, you're learning to trust yourself more as well. So we have the house. Some of you will be moving. This was on the bottom of the deck because we do have Cancer's energy again. So this can represent blessings Blessings within the home, blessings within your family. Um, we have action. So again, things will be busy for you guys. And if again, if you've been bored, um, you won't be. And for those of you who find like yourselves getting overwhelmed with action, that's not going to happen. You're coming from a really solid and motivated place. Um, you're ready to make things move. It's like, I feel like especially the beginning of the year, things feel slow and then suddenly it's going to be like, okay, it's time to go. It is time to move forward. And you're going to be able to take care of things in that type of way. That's a lot, but I'm going to take it. So your psychic ability is going to be super on point. You finally, again, are learning to trust yourself. I, right now, some of you guys are in a financial pinch, right? So this talks about saving money, needing to save money, and you're going to be doing that and getting yourself out of this situation. But at the same time, you know, you're going to have that balance and you're going to have fun. Oh, there will also be romance and love in the air. Um, Definitely with the Page of Swords. And like I said, there's people watching you. There's someone here who's interested in you. 
a lot of you are like right now healing from what other people have said about you or thought about you um, this can even stem from childhood and those of you in a financial uh, financial pinch again you're going to overcome that you're going to take charge and through taking charge um i want to see let's pull some timing like when are things going to start to move in that type of way there's going to be more transition and growth because with bread i am seeing um, a period of prosperity so we have a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in libra i feel like libra season is when you're going to feel really good about where you are financially or a lot better or you're feeling that stability so from now until then it's like you're building towards that and not to say it's not going to be good or better before that there definitely could be um things that are happening and things that are improving but i feel like by libra season which is really funny it's the season of feeling balanced you were feeling balanced and you will be ready to really fully connect with people from a place of a lot of power so this is like a lot of cards I'll, i'm just gonna call out the one <laughs> solid foundation so we keep seeing that you're building this foundation you're building this tower some of you do have to get back to the basics so you've neglected things and you're going back to the things you neglected and working on them and again this is going to create a lot of prosperity you're going to find the right the right path there's going to be exciting things and you know you're gonna i feel like you're looking for more honor and respect maybe external validation but for yourself you want to feel good about yourself and what you're doing and you are definitely going to find that there's going to be excitement there's going to be triumph so you know karma is playing a very strong factor here the universe is saying these blessings will come but just to remember whatever effort you put in it's going to be returned when you remember that you don't have to worry right um you have this trust of i i can do this i can find my way out of this situation and you're going to be protected from a lot of negativity the last card is very beautiful we have butterfly so all these changes guys are for the better and there needs to be no shame for being the caterpillar okay you, you something sometimes feels slower there's more internal work right i think spiritual work work that doesn't show on the outside is just as important and if you're, i feel like that's what you're going through right now um and so now you're going to be ready to move forward from a, a place of not just um like from a place of spiritual stability too so slow and steady wins the race guys and there are going to be happy moments exciting things right especially to do with connecting with people exciting messages ex uh, like inspirations it feels like a very new and it's a super innovative time for you guys this is in like there is an energy about you that's a little bit eccentric um you are pushing towards living in a more progressive way living in a way that is your truth versus trying to fit into a certain mold a lot of ideas you guys are learning at such a rapid pace um and we will do one last card uh so compromise you're learning how to compromise you're learning um instead of when things don't work out feeling like again like oh i failed or something um there's this really innocent almost childlike energy with you where you can be like that you're like oh it didn't work out and you get frustrated and i think you're really maturing from that and learning how to compromise in relationships too along with everything else so i'm seeing super strong gemini energy i'm also seeing air sign aquarius sagittarius and cancer um we also have strong libra so if you would like to book a more accurate personal reading with me i'll have my information down below thank you all for tuning in hello hello fine welcome to your reading so we have the dog coming up this is showing that you are finally feeling loyal to someone or someone is feeling loyal to you this i'm getting romantic but it can be a friendship it can be like 
finding a job and being like, I actually enjoy this. I actually feel excited by this. That's super possible too. So let's see if we can get some more specifics about this. We have the Four of Cups. Yeah, there's something where you've been feeling dissatisfied about, you know, feeling like the grass is greener elsewhere. I do feel like it's been a little bit frustrating. Um, it's been a long winter type of thing. We have the Queen of Cups. So yes, there is a situation here you emotionally really care about. I do see you, you're gonna be feeling emotionally sensitive and also creative and wanting to really nurture things um nurture a certain situation and we have the chariot in reverse interesting i feel like there's been delays guys or lack of motivation and the dog is like showing me there's gonna be something that stirs something in you i feel like there's potential here the opportunity is gonna arise there's gonna be a sign but then there's also this huge thing of like you you figuring out when the right time is for you you figuring out when you've got the answers and when you feel confident in that it there will be an ability to move forward we have the hermit um on the bottom of the deck some of you have been going inwards there's been a ton of ton of introspection here mm -hmm. you guys life is about to get more pleasurable okay i'm seeing indulgence here i'm seeing either you're dressing up you're getting you're buying foods that you know make you feel good but also you're not afraid to treat yourself there is like this balance here um some of you are gonna be like connecting with someone on a romantic level um you're exuding like a super sensual energy kind of you know dogs are very super aware their senses are very heightened and this is what i'm almost feeling for you your intuition is super super strong there's things you're gonna do that i feel like there's been there can be a lot of shame around around pleasure we're in such a in a society that constantly says go 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 it's like working to basically survive <laughs> And you guys are like, no, that's not what I want my life or my like priorities to be. And you're, I feel like you're letting yourself go. Like you haven't really let yourself go fully. Um, you may have been feeling a little bit wound up and there's this playfulness and you're just like, you know what? I feel like you're, you're going to learn how to throw away your cares a bit more. So what other blessings are coming you are good enough you're gonna start to feel good enough you're gonna i feel like your self-care is going to improve i feel like pile five you guys are in a really vulnerable position um and there's a lot that you do need to release i would say but there's also no rush right there's nowhere to be right now there's nowhere you need to go or be besides like where you are and you're finding that you're finding that within yourself for you guys, this is a healing, this is a healing group, the Hermit, definitely. There's a balance of introspection and also being extroverted here. This is, um, you will be releasing a lot next couple months. And I'm hearing like, allow yourself to, allow yourself to, um, allow yourself to learn whatever you need to learn from the situation. What blessings. Ooh, some of you guys are getting a dog. There is someone who wants, who is loyal to you. Who is very loyal to you. You're finding people. You're finding your tribe. You're finding that love. You know. And you're learning to accept it versus reject it. Even if that's subconsciously. Like shutting yourself out maybe. Cut it like. It's very easy especially in this pandemic to get closed off. So we have advice from a friend. Yeah, depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. There's been this heaviness that you guys have been going through. Some of you, it's a, it's a female figure. It could be a, um, a um, motherly figure, or it can just be feminine, woman in general, which there's been some trauma from. There will be good luck. 
good luck and this it's gonna be like a wave you can ride and not like a, a chance and opportunity to switch things around and to really move forward and believe in in how you're moving forward this is like pile four you guys are similar if you feel called out to watch pile four go ahead uh karma you will reap what you sow so the blessing here is in you learning that these these readings are great these pick a cards are great but you can literally live the most abundant and by abundant i don't mean money but you can <laughs> most abundant fulfilling a life you have so much power that it's even hard to actually fully understand so in this knowing that i i reap what i sow no one no situation is in charge of my happiness and so um healing feeling releasing all of that is so important and integral in getting to that place there's a lot of uh, the manifestation culture is so much on being in a feeling state but how can you when you have past lives karma <laughs> when you have pain when you when you have a multitude of things you're dealing with so for you guys it's about letting go definitely um i i do see you guys are really focused on your purpose you are focused on connecting and networking and 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 creating abundance like you are uh yeah there is a loyalty to creating stability i can see that there's gonna be a new yeah a new job coming towards you or there's gonna be a child in the family or you are going to be having a child <laughs> i feel there's a situation where someone someone has been prideful or you you will begin to feel prideful you know you will see people being loyal to you and maybe you're your pride will want to push them away or something that's something to be aware of so even the negative things if we learn from them they're not bad it's like wow I, I was doing that i get to be humbled and learn and be closer to like my higher self that's a very interesting and exciting experience in itself we have announcement we have you should accept valid criticism so i feel like you guys are doing a lot of internal work and looking at yourself and not seeing criticism as an attack to you like oh, okay this is where i can improve but i'm still good enough like this is as good as enough as learning how to do that other thing there have been some plans that have been unsuccessful but a lot of the re a huge reason of why those plans didn't work out because they were below your standards you're meant to be doing something else or investing in something else or you were again with pride pushing something away um that maybe was meant for you so whatever whichever case it is it's like this is about accepting that you are good enough to receive you guys are learning how to receive okay sometimes we push good things away um or when we're close to that good thing when we've made it to that third interview start doubting ourselves or if we're performing or creating something like start doubting it and then a couple months later being like no i was good enough i could have done it um i am talented i am skilled and i am enough at whatever point i am you guys have like a lot of you guys have imposter syndrome um no matter what you accomplish you're like oh yeah it was just luck and that's not true <gasps> soulmates yeah this is tying in with the dog card loyalty finding love huge chance on finding a strong soulmate connection this is very strong friendship but i am getting like love for a lot of you again this is general reading if you would like a more specific reading you're more than welcome to book but i do get this energy of love coming in um there could be fear on one or both sides but there is like this beautiful soulmate connection in your life that is here or that is coming so i am seeing virgo placements uh taurus libra um 11th house aquarius we have leo placements we have strong cancer water sign in general and 
If you would like to book a more accurate personal reading, I'll have my information down below. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.